Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine and IVF at Fertility Plus and Fertility Courses. So today I'm going to talk to you about um, something which is very short and I will give an idea about COVID vaccination and the risk of miscarriage. As you are generally aware that it's been two years since we've been battling this pandemic and many countries have been able to start the project of giving vaccination and many of us still remain worried and scared about what vaccination and the impact of vaccination could have in early pregnancy. And so many of these studies are generally new and in time we'll probably end up knowing a lot more than we know today. So let's look at the evidence that was recently uh, presented. So what we do know is that pregnant women with COVID-19 are at increased risk of having a negative outcome. The data on vaccination and pregnancy is reasonably limited and we'll know more about it in a few months time. So this was very much a case control studies looking at the data registry in the Norwegian registries for the first trimester pregnancies and COVID vaccination. In this study, about 13,956 women with ongoing pregnancies was, data was reviewed, of which 5.5% were vaccinated. And 4,521 women had miscarriages, of which 5.1% were again were vaccinated. The median days between a vaccination and a miscarriage was about 19 days. And the limitations, of the study was that adequate gestational age and vaccination was probably not known. So when you look at the results among women with miscarriages, the adjusted odds ratio of COVID vaccination was 0.91 for vaccination of previous three weeks and 0.81 for vaccination of previous five weeks. And the results were similar in the analysis that included almost all different types of vaccination. So what does this short study conclude? That they found no evidence of increased risk of early pregnancy loss after COVID-19 vaccination. And this also adds to the evidence coming up from other studies that show that COVID vaccination does not seem to increase the risk of miscarriage. So that's a very short talk, it's generally something which is an ongoing issue and, and may help us to look at how we advise our patients about taking COVID vaccination, which is incredibly essential. Thank you very much.